Hi everyone and welcome to Dear Dharma Dude. My name is Vivian and I'm with the venerable Master Hen Chang and my special guest Anthony. Anthony, did you have another question for the Master? Yeah, um, I have a team for basketball, a league team that we play for a, a, a little church. Like, it's just because I like basketball. But I want, my question is, how can I build my teamwork? Like, my team is there, we're all, the players are there, but we're not playing as a team. Not, like, we want to win, but we right. we uh we want to win as as a team, not not individually, you know. Right, right. So you don't want any guy stick out. Yeah. You want to have everyone. Everybody equally talented. So. Right. So they want to even support each other and get out on the court, and everyone sort of you know yeah. playing along well. Right. That's how it is. Well, first of all, I'm not a basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> However, I am. Um, I, I play soccer. I play volleyball when I was young. Um, and uh, we have a lot of works that, that we do together as a team and so I can share experience on um, how I uh, build my team and how I see the teamwork be expanding from two people to many people and so in my experience I have a few people, two three people that are working with me very well and, I th and if we do any events usually we, we are talking, talking, talking many hours and we keep talking just a couple of few people to work with me very closely and they will really see what's going on and I my experience is if you want to be a team the first thing you do is to, to get your brand wiring the brand wiring meaning um, you, you, you're talking about when you get on the court but be, be, before that when you, you had your friends come together do you have the friends come together? yeah, to eat yeah. yeah we do at school yeah so you talk to each other? yeah Okay, so what kind of topic are you talking about? We uh, we talk about like how we're gonna execute a play or mm -hmm. or how we should like um how we should do drills or what kind of plays we should make. Like we talk about the right. game so right. we can get better. Yeah, but but you can expand a little bit further than that. Instead of just on the technical part, you can do the wiring, meaning the report, the wiring. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about many aspects of your life, so each of you know each other better. Yeah. And you, you keep wiring, meaning you keep enhancing and enforcing that, that wiring between you and your friend and among all the people in the groups until almost that you can really read each other's thoughts. Meaning, you know, if you want to say something, you know, you always expect the guy to say this, say that. So, mean that means the wiring is really strong. When it's really strong, you are starting to build real teamwork. So, that's the first thing to do is really have that brain rewiring among your members and you do that before the court before you go now and play you do it at home and you can go now have a movie have dinner talking you all have to get that spirit together and then when you get so familiar with each other and because you have that such a, a familiarity you can start to suggest or criticize or say anything people can accept very easily right yeah okay so that's the second step the second step you do is this, what we call the strategy wiring. Strategy wiring is this, when you go out and play in, in the game, um, everyone seems to know each other what's going yeah. on. Because whatever you have in your map, the other hand, the other ones also has. So everyone seems to have a same map. Okay, so it's not like you have the map. But everyone, you think something, and everyone will respond to it because the wiring is so strong. You know? The traffic between your brand and that person's brand is become so huge, like eight freeway, you know, eight lanes going this way, eight lanes goes back this way. Because that's what you want. You don't want to have only one lane. I Meaning you think, but the other guy maybe doesn't think that way. Yeah. So you you want to have that very strong wiring. And so the strategy wiring meaning whatever your map here here, without talking, the other guys seem to know it, and then. Because he seemed to know it, he, he would respond it correctly, better. So the more you can keep wiring like that, the better. So at least, you, then, you're talking about drills. You're talking about strategy with each other. You're talking, keep talking, keep playing out. And uh, you, and you watch the same kind of, of, of video and you, you can just share your, your, I mean the video yeah, of yeah. the game. Yeah. You can share the ideas together. That's the second part, the strategy wiring. But the, the third part is most important, and that is each of us, each of you, will have to think about I'm become part of a bigger team. So me, 
is the whole group and you step back and you step forward you know when to step back when to step forward and you have to never blame your members you don't want to say oh you don't do that you don't give it to wrong don't do hey give it back to me here so it's a kind of uh, rapport that you have to build slowly 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 it may take months it can be a couple of days a week yeah, but yeah. months but the actual building teamwork <coughs> is not on the court it's at the, the the dining table, at your regular meeting, at the time when um, you go and out, have fun. Yeah. But those are the, the time you're building the, the wiring, the report. What do you think about that? So the last, the third part is the most important. The third part when um, each of you realize that, okay, I, I, I can step back for the guy to step forward. Okay, here the ball. Okay, so it's a kind of understanding and, 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 and trusting but that's th- trusting because you have done the first two steps the brand wiring, the strategy wiring and the, th- the third step is it's what we call the personal yielding you use you here and advance for others so the, the kind of, the kind of it happened in there very naturally now I, I'm not a basketball player but my experience on building other team you know, I can say that and you don't want to get angry at the people Especially friends, you don't want to get angry. Yeah. You don't want to say, you know, yeah. <laughs> or make him lose face, or say the cursing, or saying bad words. But encourage, encourage the person. Um, maybe um, sometimes you have to yield a few times, like give him the ball. And if he he didn't make it, you don't want to to to, to think of, oh next time I'm not going to give it to you. Oh yeah, yeah. But you say okay, try it next time. But but in that way, each of each of them feel that, oh, yeah, he always supporting me, he was accommodating me. So the third part is, it's about personality. You change, have to change the personality. You have to yield, support, and, and give, and not using strong words, that kind of thing. So what is your um, feelings there? I think I should <laughs> try it out. I should, yeah, try it out. but. I I want to like make sure my team doesn't make dumb shots. So that <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I'm just saying, because yeah, right. we all want to, we want one thing. We want to win, but we want to win the team, though. So I think I will compliment them even if they miss. Yeah, and either they 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 make a dumb shots. You still encourage them. Oh, okay, yeah. try next time. This is better. You just pat them down, shoulders, and oh, come and do it next time. But that's why. Uh, people will trust you because they know that they make mistakes, okay to make mistakes and then okay to improve. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, they they be scared, oh I'm, he gonna scold me this, he gonna yeah, say yeah. this to me. And so I think it's important to support. Even if it's fail. Yeah. But we keep supporting so people can grow. So that that's how we can uh, win. That makes sense. It's kinda like even if it was outside of uh, scope of sports, like for ASB, um, student body and stuff. Right. Before we actually go into the year and start doing like associated student body work, we have camps so that we can get to know each other, get to know each other's personalities. So that's kind of like the report wiring. And then we have the strategic or strategy wiring. And then after that, that's the personal yielding communication aspects where exactly. you give a little to receive a little. So thank you, Anthony, for your question. Thank you, Master, for your wisdom. And thank you, viewers. See you next time. Bye.